So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use freeze panes and turning it on and off so that you can scroll kind of like what I'm able to do here right now. You notice that the headers do not leave. So I'm scrolling up and down, the headers stay. And you can also do it where the, uh, where the columns to the left stay. So as I scroll across here, notice that the subject ID numbers don't go away either. So um, that's called freeze panes. So I already have it turned on, so let's turn it off first so you can see how uh, where to find it and how to turn uh, turn it off if you need to. So if you go to view, go to freeze panes, and right now I have this first one done. So I'm gonna click it again to turn it off. So now as I scroll, notice the headers go away, scroll back up, and also as I scroll to the right, these subject ID numbers go away. So typically I don't like that when I have a large spreadsheet. It makes it very difficult to keep track of what you're looking at. So if you're scrolling across and you see a number that you think is a little strange or something, you don't know whose number that is because you can't see the numbers. Also, if you're scrolled down a little bit and you're trying to keep track of where you are within the spreadsheet, I don't know which variable this is versus this variable over here. So you, again, want to be able to see that all the time. So what you do is you click I'm gonna click right here on cell B2. So on cell B2, that is the cell right below the headers and also immediately to the right of the um, column that I wanna keep, the subject ID numbers. And now I'm gonna go up to freeze panes and I'm gonna click the first one um, that has the little blue symbol um, for where the um, where I'm clicked. Um, and that says anything to the left or above the um, the cell that's highlighted is going to be frozen. All right, so I'm gonna click that. And now when I scroll down, the headers stay. When I scroll to the right, the headers stay and the um, subject ID numbers are also still there. Another use for this, so something I'm gonna add in here, so let's add in a column. So I'm gonna click on uh, column B here where it says uh, FMD data, and I'm just gonna insert a column. And so right now it's not catching that when I scroll across. So let's go ahead and turn off our freeze panes and let's click on cell C2 right now and refreeze the panes. All right, so now when I scroll, it's there. So let's add comments here. Let's have a comment column. And so as an example, we have some missing data right here. So these cells that are in red where there's nothing shown. So this is the flow mediated dilation data, the FMD data for subject 19. So I'm gonna add a comment here that subject 19 doesn't have FMD data. So I'll just say no FMD data. And so now, as I'm scrolling across, that comment's gonna stay there to make sure that I'm aware that there's no FMD data. So if I'm all the way over here in the spreadsheet and I'm trying to figure out um, something about the data and I'm deciding, you know, do I need FMD data for the analysis I'm about to do? Well, if I look at the comments, which I can still see because I froze that um, column that I added, I now know, okay, this data set right here, so this, this subject is not one that I can use because there's no FMD data. So you can see some utility to doing these freeze frames um, more than just seeing the subject IDs, hopefully. So um, oftentimes you do need to turn it on, turn it off in order to navigate the spreadsheet differently. Um, I would say I have it on 99% of the time though. So that was how you do it. There's also the ability to freeze just the top row or just the first column. I don't do that nearly as much, but if you do need to do that, those are options that are available to you. So in the next video in this playlist, I'm gonna show you how to use hyperlinks to get around the spreadsheet. Um, and it actually piggybacks on this idea of freezing the frame because I'm gonna add hyperlinks at the front of the spreadsheet so that they're always available to you regardless of where you are. So please make sure you watch that if that's something you need to do. Um, I'll also try to put a link in the description below this video on how to do that too.